It is the latest shooting rattling the nerves of D.C. residents who are increasingly concerned about their safety. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Sean Yancey. I'm Jim Adley. One person was killed, three others injured after that gunman's rampage this morning. Now we know the victim killed was a Metro employee simply trying to stop the violence. Just a short time ago, police identified that heroic worker as 64-year-old Robert Cunningham. Police say it all started with the confrontation on a Metro bus and rapidly escalated into gunfire inside the Potomac Avenue Metro station. Police have arrested the gunman. We have live team coverage for you this evening. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss is standing by with the growing safety concerns many riders are feeling. But we want to begin with Paul Wagner and the latest on what unfolded this morning. Paul. Well, Jim and Sean, at this hour, uh, we are being told that uh, D.C. police still don't know who this gunman is. As of an hour ago, a law enforcement source telling News 4 that they're still trying to identify him. He is in a hospital, apparently having been injured after these heroes, as the police called him, took him down and disarmed him. At this hour, there's also question about how many people actually took him down. We were told by D.C. police it was at least two, including a woman. In addition to that, the question is, what set this man off? D.C. police at this hour still don't know. Just after 9 o'clock this morning on this Metro bus parked outside the Potomac Avenue station, a man with a gun began a violent assault that lasted several minutes and terrorized commuters as they were going about their day. D.C. police say the gunman first shot a man in the legs after leaving the bus. Executive Assistant Chief Ashawn Benedict says the gunman then went down into the station where he confronted a man buying a Metro card. He shoots this individual also in the leg, brings him over the turnstile. Again, we're not sure the intent of all of this going in. D.C. police say that man escaped before things turned deadly on the platform. That's when the gunman attempts to rob a woman and a Metro employee watching nearby tries to stop it. By doing so, he's immediately shot by our shooter. There is at least one train in the station, and police say the man then begins walking on and off while displaying the gun. Standing nearby watching this in disbelief is Richard Frost. At that point, like, I was trying to, even me, I was trying to assess, like, what was going on, because, I, again, I had my music on. So I was like, I asked the guy, I was like, were those gunshots? And he was like, yeah. And then that's when I saw the guy drop. Frost says he then saw the gunman walk toward the train. He was pacing back and forth, but mind you, the people on the train were like freaked out. What followed were warnings and urgent calls for help over the radio. Central 612 Stomach Avenue, try two. There's a man on the train, has a gun. I have customers on the train right now panicking. A female tackled him and took the gun away. At this point, it's unclear how many people took the gunman down, but police confirm there were several. Do the heroic actions of our, our citizens, our community, uh, to disarm this shooter, uh, I can't put a price on that. I, I think they save lives, and uh, that's to be commended. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser, who came to the scene, called the Metro employee who lost his life very brave and questioned the ease in which people are able to obtain a gun. We have to reckon in our country about why it's so easy to get a gun. Why do we need more guns than people? Thank you. When we spoke with Mr. Frost, he told us that he'd already been uh, questioned by police as to what he had seen, and he was waiting to go back into the station to be able to retrieve his handbag, which had his laptop inside. He said there were a number of things that uh, people had discarded as they were running, panicking from that train earlier today. That's the latest here from the Potomac Avenue station. Now back into you.